What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Blu-ray and DVD update. I have a lot here. Um, it has been my birthday. Um, but also I've been buying a lot on eBay and stuff. Um, just because a lot of things are cheap now. Like I'm finding really, really good deals. And um, also it's my birthday as well. So I got things for my birthday. Uh, this is including like two or three weeks before my birthday as well. Um, after my birthday as well. But I haven't actually bought anything. Uh, I actually got more money um, for my birthday than I did for my Christmas, and that was a mega haul, so be prepared for a mega haul in the next month or so. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. So the first one I got for my birthday was Star Trek Into Darkness. This is a Blu-ray, 3D, Blu-ray and digital copy. Um, yeah, I really, really like this film. I watched this on my birthday. Very, very good. Uh, I have actually the first J.J. Uh, Abrams Star Trek on DVD. And I haven't even watched it yet, so I'm probably going to be watching that in the next month or so. Uh, I may go straight on to Blu-ray and get it on Blu-ray, um, just to enjoy it more. Uh, or I may just watch the DVD and if I like it, get the Blu-ray. But yeah, Star Trek Into Darkness, a very, very good movie. The um, PQ was amazing on this one. And you can just tell by the back with all the colours on the pictures that it was just going to be amazing on Blu-ray. And it truly was, it really, really was. Um, definitely... If you're wanting to get into Blu-rays and you have a friend who's got Blu-rays, definitely ask him to put this on because it's a phenomenal Blu-ray. Uh, the sound was also amazing as well, you know, when the ship was crashing and stuff. Spoiler. Uh, you know, it was great. And, uh, yeah, I really liked the cast for this one. I loved it. The the villain in this one. Um, so, yep, Star Trek Into Darkness. Very, very good movie. Um, I may go and watch the special features on that one soon. Uh, next one I got for my birthday uh, is Die Hard 4.0. I've been very hesitant to get this one for a while. Uh, I borrowed a Blu-ray off my uncle a couple of months ago, uh, maybe a year ago now. And um, that's kind of why I was kind of just staying away from it on Blu-ray. Because uh, I'd you know, only just seen it. Because uh, most movies I only watch once a year. Um, but yeah, he got me this for my birthday. So I was you know, kind of anxious to watch it since I did get it. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it the second time more than I did the first time. Um, obviously it's to do with all the cyber attacks and stuff, if you can call it that. Um, well, a fire sale, if, you, if you've seen the movie, you know what a fire sale is. Um, but yeah, very, very good movie. I loved um, the guy that played Matthew. Uh, was it Matthew? Is that his name? I think so. Uh, it doesn't say on the back, but I think it was. But um, yeah, very, very good Die Hard. It's personally my favourite Die Hard movie. Uh, I do really, really like this one a lot. I know a lot of people say the first one. Definitely the fourth one for me. Um, I think, honestly, it goes 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, I haven't actually seen the fifth one yet, so I don't know where that'll come. Probably last. Um, but yeah, Die Hard 4.0. Looks great on Blu-ray as well. Uh, the next one I got in the mail today from eBay. Uh, I'm telling you, great deals on eBay right now. Uh, this is actually an Amazon exclusive. Um... And the guy was selling it for ten pounds, and online it was fourteen on Amazon. But the guy was selling it for ten, and uh, it said it was practically brand new. And it is the first season of Boardwalk Empires. This is from HBO. Uh, it's about I think this is what it's about. It's when um, Booze gets um, banned from uh, America, and I'm guessing this. I'm thinking that um, the guy on the back, like this guy, is the main character who's trying to smuggle it in and sell it, kind of like drugs, um, and kind of like gangsters and stuff. It just looked really, really good, and for £10, it was great. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. So you get a nice slip cover, and you get the case itself. Uh, this is a six-disc set, is it? Five discs? Oh, well, we'll see in a minute. So on this side, you get all the episodes, uh, well, the first six episodes, uh, and then you get the disc there, the first disc. Um, I'll try to spin them all around for you. The second and third disc there. And then the fourth and fifth disc there. So it's a fifth, five disc set. Uh, so very, very good price. You know, £10 for the Amazon exclusive. And you might be thinking, what is the Amazon exclusive? Pretty much, you got a photo book. Um, now, on the picture on Amazon, it did look like it was a hardback, you know, proper photo book. But it's not hardback, but it is, you know, still a really good quality. And, um, again, this is in pristine condition. You know, the guy said that. Um, I'll show you some of the, the pages real quick. Um, really nice glossy images as well. Um, 
it's just a nice little touch, you know, you might not, some people I know might not look at it, um, but, you know, it's nice to go through it during this, watching the series or something, saying, oh yeah, I remember that bit now, and oh yeah, there's my favourite bit. Um, but yeah, it's HBO, I'm expecting quite a lot since it is HBO, it, you know, they made a lot of good series, you know, Game of Thrones, Band of Brothers, Pacific, Boardwalk Empire, um, John Adams, so, yep, we're on this booklet, and uh, I will be popping that on today at some point. Um, next up we have a steelbook. Um, this is in no particular order, by the way. Uh, we have a steelbook here. I got this from Sainsbury's. Um, I ordered the second one in the franchise steelbook um, from uh, Amazon for a tenner. And then I watched Darwin Productions' video um, where he got um, his for £7 on Sainsbury's. So I was like, you know what, I'll get the first one on Sainsbury's just now since it's that price. And it is Batman Begins Steelbook. Uh, I picked this up um, on Sainsbury's, as I said, for £7. Very, very good deal. Uh, within a week they sold out the whole trilogy on Steelbook. Because um, they had the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises and Batman Begins uh, Steelbooks all for £7. But they did sell out eventually and, you know, who can blame you, it's £7. Uh, so I did manage to snag this one. Really nice steelbook. It is in its plastic uh, protective sleeve, so I'm not going to show you. Uh, I think pretty much everyone has this, or I've seen it anyway. But yeah, very, very good movie. Enough said. <laughs> uh, this one I got on eBay. Again, a very good deal. Um, it's a War Classics three-time honoured films. And it's The Dirty Dozen, Battle of the Bulge, and Where Eagles Stare. Uh, I actually have Where Eagles Stare, um, but I didn't have The Battle of the Bulge or The Dirty Dozen. And you'll never guess how much I paid for this. Five pounds. Um, it was just random company. They sold about four hundred copies of this. It was on my wish list for a while, and I was like, you know what? I really want to see these movies again. So it's about time I bought it. Went on, bought one. Came within like three days, four days, uh, with first class shipping for free. And um, yeah, I've seen all of these uh, at least once. The Dark Dozen I've seen once or tw well two or three times now. Uh, Rego Star I've watched it once as I have the DVD, uh, and Battle of the Bulge I've seen once on TV. Um, where I go stare, you know, as I said, I do have the DVD for that, but it was cheaper to get this than it was to get these two individually, because it would be £5 each, or you can get all three for a fiver. Um, so really, you know, I'm getting two movies for a fiver, but it's added an extra copy of a film. Um, I've only watched The Dark Dozen out of this one so far. Um, very, very good movie. Just be aware, though, it says there it's a 15. But when you open the disc up, uh, I believe this is on every version of The Dark Dozen. It says there 12. I just thought that was really, really weird. Uh, I remember my uncle's copy of that did the same. Like, not the trouble pack, he just has the separate copy of the film. Uh, that's just a minor gripe, you know, I don't care what the age rating is. Um, but yeah, very, very good set, really cheap. You know, if you're in the UK, just type in, uh, like, The Dark Dozen or that DVD, and it'll come up with the triple pack. Very, very good deal. Uh, next one, this is a fairly new release uh, I got for my birthday. Uh, sorry, this one I didn't get for my birthday, neither did I get Batman Games or Boardwalk Empire. I bought those separately. Um, but this one I picked, uh, well, I got for my birthday, and uh, it's a steelbook, which I've not actually seen the film, and I did want to go and see it, and it is Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks. I really was eager to go and see this at Sunmas, I just never had a chance. And um, I didn't actually, I realised like last week this came out and um, I was just like, I'll wait until my birthday, you know, j until I get my, you know, birthday money. But someone got me, for, got me, got it for me, so don't have to go and buy it. So really nice steelbook. I'll show you inside. I have actually got the disc inside my player. So you get the ultraviolet and then the movie extra codes, which I don't see why you need the movie extra codes. And then you've got this inside, which is just the C, which a lot of people weren't really happy about when I saw their unboxings, but I was just like, I'm not bothered, I quite like it. Um, so that's what you get in the inside, and also the disc as well would be there. Uh, I'll actually put these adverts in ultraviolet over here. Um, if you didn't know, I actually take all the adverts and that out of my out of my cases and just put them in a pile, because, you know, steel books, you want to see the artwork, don't you? It's not just, you know, strip up your adverts. But yeah, Captain Phillips, uh, I did start watching it actually, I got 10 minutes in, um, but it was quite late, it was like 2 in the morning, so I just turned it off. Um, but yeah, very eager to watch that as well. Uh, next one, an R3D movie, and it is Pacific Rim. I was actually tempted to get this last weekend, uh, it was in HMV for £10, 
so I was quite eager to get it and uh, I'm quite glad I didn't because obviously you know, someone got me the better version of it I haven't seen this movie um, I know it's got the guy from uh, The Magnificent Seven TV show uh, and he also played Hellboy in the Hellboy films and he did Scorpion King 3 uh, don't ask what his name is, I, I honestly can't remember um, but yeah, very eager to watch this, I don't know if you can see the Lintic or cover on that uh, but yeah, really nice. It's still sealed, so I haven't actually opened it yet. But yeah, so really nice edition. Um, you know, very very good. Can't wait to watch the movie as well. Uh, next up's a steelbook, and it is a good day to die hard. I did say I hadn't seen the fifth one. Didn't tell you I didn't get it though. Uh, this is the HMV exclusive steelbook, which is still sealed. Um, I made an unboxing for this. I don't know because it's quite a old steelbook, like. Not old, it came out last year, but I think, you know, if anyone was interested, they would have watched it by now. Um, but yeah, so a good day, Die Hard. I've not seen it, I've not seen the, well, I've seen the trailers. Uh, my uncle went to the cinemas and he said it was okay, it's not as bad as everyone says, but pretty much everyone on YouTube hated it, but, you know, I'll give it a go. You know, it must have been cheap, I think, I don't think he would have paid more than 20 quid for it, and I wouldn't have either, and if he did, I would have turned the thing, but, um, yeah, good day, Die Hard, I will watch it, uh, and that's me, you've got the complete collection except the third Die Hard. Uh, this is a DVD and it is Full Metal Jacket. Uh, this is still sealed as well. Um, I've been wanting this for a long time. I did prefer to get it on Blu-ray. Uh, there's a steelbook coming out as well on Blu-ray. But you know what, I'm happy with the DVD. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the DVD. Um, you know, great, great movie. This is in the Stanley Kubrick collection. Uh, and it's also digitally restored and remastered. So it must look, you know, decent on, blue, uh, on DVD. Um, but yeah, I'm really getting into my war films again. So, yep, Full Metal Jacket by Stanley Kubrick. This I paid £44 for, and this was before my birthday. And it is the complete collection of Spartacus. This was a great deal. Um, I went to HMV, they had it for 50 and I was just like, that's a bit under. Uh, that's a bit over what I wanted to pay. So I went, uh, to, I went to my uncle's house that day because I was with him and I saw it in Zavi for £44 and I was just like, I have to get that. Um, I mean, that's just over £10 a season, so, you know, that's great because the first season alone was £10, uh, £20 anyway and on Amazon it was like £23. Um, so, you know, that would have been about 80 quid for all, th all four of them, whereas I could get it in a big sleek box set for, you know, 44 quid. Um, it is a very long series though, um, there's this slipcase mind you, this has all the seasons on the back. Um, so obviously we have the first season there, Blood and Sands, we have the prequel, uh, yeah, the prequel series, Gods of the Arena, then we have the actual proper second season, uh, Vengeance, and then we have the final season, War of the Damned. Uh, I finished, just finished watching Blood and Sand last night. Uh, amazing ending, like, I was blown away with the ending, I didn't realise it would come that soon. Um, I'm very eager to figure, figure out what they do in the next couple series. Very, very good show if you haven't watched it, it's amazing. Um, when I bought this it was actually a blind buy, um, which was a lot for a blind buy, you know, 40 quid. But I knew I would love it and I awesomely did. You know, the graphics on it was really good, of like the blood coming to the screen. You know, the, the, the arena fights were amazing. All the plot twists were amazing, you know, it's just, it was so, so cool, you know. I, in my head, I was figuring out who killed who and what happens next, and it was so, so good. I would highly re recommend you pick up the show. Um, even if you get the DVD, I don't care, just pick up the show. It's really, really good. So, you get the first two discs there. And then you get the third and fourth there. Honestly, my favourite character out of this was Batiatis. I thought he was amazing. Uh, also, this is the guy who played Jonathan in the Mummy films. He was amazing in the Mummy films. Like, he was my favourite character in the Mummy films. And he just blew my mind in Spartacus. You know, I kind of said, uh, kind of said, you know, I'm not going to be able to take him seriously in this series. But honestly, he commands like a boss in this series. I fucking loved him in this. Um, definitely get this. Uh, I actually just started watching Gods of the Arena last night as well. Uh, I'm only in the first episode though, so I can't really say nothing. But I know this is kind of like the events before the first season takes place. Um, so I'm eager to see how it all started. Um, 
So yeah, so Spartacus, you pretty much have to get it. It's so, so good. Uh, again, it's in my top five TV shows. It is amazing. And I'm only on the second season, so, or, you know, the prequel series. So, yep, Spartacus, highly recommend it. It's worth the £40 on Zavi. Uh, the last thing I have, that's been a lot of stuff. Um, I actually got this for free. Uh, my uncle bought the, the Blu-ray box set. And uh, it gave me this, this um, since he had the Blu-ray. And it's the Back to the Future trilogy on DVD. Um, now I've never seen the Back to the Future trilogy, um, but... I just had to take it from his hands, <laughs> um, you know, he had the Blu-ray, so he was just like, here you have it, so I was like, I'll gladly take that. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch these, because obviously I had Spartacus, which I watched for a good week, like, proper, like, a week solid. Um, like, it took me all week just to watch the first season, uh, or maybe even longer. Um, but yeah, this is the remastered version, so they must look good on DVD as well. Uh, if I like them, you know, as much as everyone else does, I'll get the Blu-rays, but... For having it for free, it's a really, really good deal. Um, I'll show you real quick, it's a slip cover, and then you have this. I'm sure you've all seen this, you know, I'm sure everyone has, Back to the Futures. You got a nice little booklet there as well. And then you get... What the hell's going on here? Oh, uh, when the discs is loose. You get the second and third movie there. So, yep, so that has been my Blu-ray and DVD update. Um, actually, I've got one more game, so I'll show you the game, uh, if I can get this in. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, what's it not? You know what, forget it. Uh, so I actually picked up a game, and I've had this game twice already, um, but they both broke. And it's my favourite online, uh, my favourite game out of the series. And it's Black Ops, uh, also Call of Duty. Um, everyone's played this, or you know, I've seen it, so I'm not going to talk much about it. But this is seriously my favourite multiplayer out of the whole Call of Duty series. Um, and since I don't like Ghosts that much, I was like, you know what? If I want to play Call of Duty, I might as well play my favourite one. So I went on eBay, found it for a fiver, just bought it, and yeah, I'm one level of prestige in. Uh, I'm sixth right now, going into seventh. Um, but yeah, so Black Ops, had to get that, you know, especially for a fiver. So that's everything I picked up, that's a hell of a lot. I've still got stuff from Christmas and Boxing Day to watch, uh, even stuff before Christmas to watch, and also I've got 140 quid's worth, you know, stuff to buy. Um, also, I'm not buying for the sake of it either, you know, I do intend to watch everything uh, eventually. Um, also, Game of Thrones came out yesterday, uh, or today, sorry. I was planning to get it today, um, but I the way I was getting down to the centre to go and buy it, I can't now, so I've just ordered it online. I could have, you know, got it in two days shipping, but honestly, I'm not in a massive rush to watch it, so I just kept on the free delivery. So it said it'll be here by Saturday, so, um, yeah, Game of Thrones season three, you know. I've seen the first, like, six or seven episodes of that. I haven't seen the rest, though. Um, but yeah, so I'll watch those when I get it. It is the Amazon exclusive as well. So it comes with a bonus disc, which I saw Mat Maticus Tatui uh, unbox it yesterday. He must have got it a day early. Um, so yeah, so I'll have that coming next, well, yeah, practically this weekend's coming. So yeah, guys, so hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.